Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are doing safe and well at home. So before we get into it, I am trying to hit 1K, so please help a girl out, please subscribe, and let's get into the video. So I decided to film this video because I've checked all over YouTube and everywhere basically. No one had a video to help me decide, okay, I'm not buying it, or yes, actually I love it. This is what the video is about. Let me just get it out. Hold oh, your horses. By the way, speaking of hold your horses, she you actually know? I mean, it may just be me, but when someone says to you, hold your horses, that's because they want you to be stable. Like, mind blown. So, anyway, so I got th this bag. So, I've seen it a lot on YouTube videos when people are like, oh my God, pronounce it properly. I'm sorry to offend anyone. You might want to skip the next 10 seconds. But this is the Fjall Raven Konken bag, but I'm just going to call it a Konken but I know the proper name is Konkin, okay? Okay. I don't think they do other sizes. I've not seen any. As far as I know, there's only one size. This is the mini tote. No idea that this was a thing until I searched for a Konkin. I wanted a backpack. I've wanted it for absolute ages. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Because when I wear backpacks, I only tend to wear them on one shoulder anyway. And you can use it as a tote, how to hold it from this handle. Or with the back handle, basically, you pull them through. And it's got that bit that's on the top of backpacks. So that's the stop um, when you pull it. I couldn't believe this was a thing. I actually treated myself this to my birthday. Don't judge me, my birthday's in October. I've been treating myself a lot for my birthday this lockdown, so yeah. Yeah, it was just such a lovely bag and it ticked all the boxes. If I wanted the backpack, at least with this, I can wear it as wear it as a tote and like it and wear it in different ways. This is £80, but on the Urban Outfitters website, it was 56 I know there's a lot of controversy around Urban Outfitters at the moment. I did purchase this before I knew and it went down to £56. I then used a £5 off that I had, so which made it four fifty one, and then they decided to send me 20% off, so now it's £44 or something. I don't think a lot of people know, but I love bags like this. I love the backpack for absolutely ages and I wanted one. I'm not going to lie, they are expensive. I know they're meant to be durable, but it is expensive if you think about it in the short run. In the long run, obviously, if you're not buying backpacks and you're using the same one, then, of course, it works out better for your money. But it's just the initial shock <laughs> that I was like, okay, I'll treat myself for my birthday full price. And, yeah, until I saw this on their website on sale. So, like I said, you can hold it as a tote. You put it from here or you can flip that or you can use it as a backpack. So, this bit towards the end, if you lift them, they actually enable you to make the strap bigger take that off and then push this through and make them bigger so the button's now there so if i do the same on the other side they do go a little bit longer but not as much as i prefer like like the quite low look even though i've stretched it i mean i can get my arm through it that's a positive if you can tell how high it is look at that i mean it's practically touching the sky why I can't even bloody get it down so I like mine a lot further down, a lot, lot. And to be completely honest, there's no need for it. If I had a couple of balloons strapped on each one, I'd be flying away. I don't get it. Like, it could be the near perfect bag if it wasn't for the straps. And for that reason, I am going to give it back. In here, it's not too bad, but it still looks awkward. It's like, okay, what are you trying to achieve, love? The thing is, because they don't have any other sizes as well, well, I didn't see any. If if they have a large one, then it will be much better. But for children, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. But your girls are fully grown adult, and <laughs> I feel like if it was a centimetre higher, it would come off a large into my hijab. The good thing is, folks, you're not going to get robbed with this bag. Imagine walking down the street and someone someone's trying to rob you, and you're like, who's pulling on my hair? It, it's, it's, I promise I wasn't trying to get your hijab. I was just trying to take your phone and your wallet. Why is it so high? Literally, like, honestly, no one's going to rob you in broad daylight. No one. Who in their small kankan mind is going to rob you with your bag that high? 
no one i don't know where this is going <laughs> oh, i'm just so gutted because i had such high hopes for it that for me is the biggest put off you've got a name and a contact number there this in the middle like a divider and then you've also got this at the back and a lot of people say yeah and it does actually say on there not to take this out because it, that's what keeps the shape of your kankin now a lot of people say that this thing is also used as a seat pad i don't know if that's true i don't know if someone's winding me up on the forum so when you go for a picnic you can use that i feel like i would get a lot in there for what it is obviously with the backpack i feel like i could do my whole shopping and put it in but not necessarily with this but it would allow you to fit a lot in also have the classic these bits to put your water bottle in or and this bit as well to put your phone and stuff in and since 1978 thing in there do forgive me if i've missed anything out if you want to know then just leave me a comment down below i just want to get a few things clear that I just wanted to know before buying the bag and that's why I've made this video this with a black outfit some black skinny jeans a denim jacket some Doc Martens some geek glasses oh my god such an outfit it looks like when you hold it like this I think it's so cute like as a tote it's a nice length and again i can get my arm through it i really like it as a tote but again i wanted the kankan backpack experience as well that sounds really weird but yeah i really like it but sadly because of this like it's the near perfect bag for kankan i'm not gonna lie like i feel like if i was a bit slimmer it would hang lower but i don't buy a bag based on carbs you know, I would much rather eat the chips, love. This got dark real quick. <laughs> Had the straps been longer and I would have been raving about it and showing you what's in my bag tag. But unfortunately, it's going back. I might buy the classic backpack. I'm not sure yet. The only reason I haven't is because, especially when I'm shopping or I'm in town, I don't really tend to have it on both. My arms just one. So that's why this was perfect for, which is sad. Um very sad sadder than i'm making it out to be actually but there we go that's samina for you honestly i've seen so many reviews where people have actually sent theirs back due to that reason it will not make it to my collection of bags that i do not need Honkin, kankin if you are watching this please adjust the straps i mean like i said they could be coming out with different sizes by the time this goes up they could have medium and large as well or a classic please make these larger really 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 want a kankin i wanted to get the forest green backpack but then i was like am i wasting money will i use it every day will it go with every outfit and not gonna lie part of that was inspired by watching ruby granger's channel all the time and uses the hairs all the time and i was like yes i need one and then Molly from Beauty Spectrum, she's got the smaller one in purple. I don't want this to be a negative video, it really isn't. I feel like you can just tell it's going to be a really sturdy bag. It's really, really strong. It's not bashing the brand at all. I've wanted their bag for years. I'd honestly be such a hypocrite if I sat here and told you that I wouldn't get another bag from them or anything like that. It's not the quality of the bag, it's not the brand, it's the design of the bag that is an issue for me personally at the end of my video that's my first impressions of the Konkan bag can't wait to try more of their products in the future i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you somewhat in your decision and i hope it helped you find answers that i was looking for if you do have any questions then leave them down below i'll do my best to answer them as best as i can but that is it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye